We're learning more about a deadly crash near the Yukon campus. We first told you about this last night as breaking news. State police now tell us a Yukon grad student who was hit by a car has now died. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Passmore has been following the story. She's joining us live right now with some new details. Shantae. We are learning the victim used the crosswalk here on South Eagleville Road when the driver hit him. And while we are waiting to learn what exactly led to this crash, I can tell you this area is dimly lit with drivers speeding up and down this road. And Yukon students say that's a problem. Meanwhile, tonight we are watching loved ones gather for a vigil to remember the life of the student. Cars whiz by on South Eagleville Road with side streets leading into neighborhoods where you'll find people driving and walking through to get to Yukon. It is concerning that it happened, you know, so close to home as well, just because I do walk this street like every day. Since last night, pedestrians use caution. State police say 33-year-old Emily Wicks, who is a Yukon employee, drove westbound on South Eagleville Road when her car hit Noing Win just after 5 p.m. Tuesday. An area hospital pronounced Win dead after the impact. The graduate student would have turned 29 in a few days. Usually people are driving pretty fast. Jenna Marinelli and Jessica Lee live off South Eagleville Road. After learning of Wynn's death, Lee doesn't plan to walk to her evening classes again, despite living less than a mile away from Yukon. No, I'm not. I'm not taking that risk. Just because even I've driven at night and there have been people that I haven't even seen. Like, I didn't think there was anyone on the road, but there is the closer I get. We asked state police whether it's investigated crashes on South Eagleville Road. From January 1st through last night, it responded to seven motor vehicle accidents with no injuries and two with reported injuries, including last night's fatality. Tonight, state police are asking for witnesses to come forward with information about the scene. And as you can imagine right now, Yukon is in mourning in a release statement from a spokesperson who said in part, they wrote, we send our sincere condolences to all who have been affected by this tragic incident and join Wynn's family and friends in grieving his passing. And at last check, state police tells me no charges have been filed against the Yukon employee at this time, citing an active investigation. Live in Mansfield this evening, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah.